name is Wadud and I am 40 years old. After my birth, I was affected by typhoid and I became deaf. Nowadays, I am involved with the family business. It is a metal factory and we make trunks and other containers. Usually, I go to the factory at 9 o'clock and I come home around 9 or 10 when we close. On Friday, we work a half day. I am not involved with hammering, but I supervise others in the workshop. For example, I ensure the measurements are correct to the customer's specifications. I supervise the staff to make sure they are working the proper way. In 2005, we established our self-help advocacy group called Shwetpur Deaf Club. We meet every Friday. During the meetings, we discuss different issues. For example, if a member is facing problems within the family or in the neighborhood, we discuss it between ourselves and also include others who may be involved. As I have had training with a local NGO, I have some understanding about disabilities and what rights we have, and how to make others aware of those rights. There was some unused space on government land. We thought we could set up our club there with permission. When we tried to use that place for our meeting, the members of the Rickshaw Pullers Union became angry with us, and with the support of the local police, beat us and threw us out. So we tried to raise the issue in the community and try to resolve it by talking to people. But they laughed at us and thought it was funny. A few days later, a government minister was here in the town. Our group barricaded his way and lay down on the street. He asked what was happening and why we were doing this, and we told him of the situation through an interpreter. He informed us that we will get that place and that no one will ever bother us again. After that, we used that place and until now everything has been okay. I have several dreams. First, that we, the deaf people of Shoitpur, have an opportunity to learn standard sign language. It is difficult to communicate with other deaf people as we use local sign. So we are thinking of arranging some sort of training which will help our communication with others. At the same time, I am thinking about establishing a school for deaf children. I realize that education is very important, but deaf children do not often get the opportunity to get involved with education. I want them to have the same opportunities as others, so they can develop and grow, as it should be. If my dreams become fulfilled, nothing will make me happier than this.